Hello, everybody. Hey, I'm going to do my uh, rechargeable battery mod on the Radio Link Radio. Uh, that's what this video is going to be all about. I'm going to explain a little more after the intro. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is what I'm going to put in there. These are rechargeable 18650 batteries and I know some people are not familiar with these. If you're familiar with these, you're familiar with 18650s. And I know there's a lot of confusion about these because I've watched one of the larger channels that thinks these are vape batteries. And, and they can be used in that, but that's not where they came from. I've been using them in flashlights for quite a long time. So that's all that's in here is two of these. And I'll throw the barcode up on these. Uh, the normal price on these is $14.72 for four. I get them at Walmart. I'll wait till the end of the garden season and that's where they are is in the garden department and they put them on sale right now they're on clearance for eleven dollars for four so if you don't want to do what i'm going to do in this video then you can get one of these packs or you can get a lipo just need one of these with the jst on it i'm going to use three of these in the little mod that i'm going to do so use a lipo use one of these, use a two cell lipo, a three cell lipo, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to do these because it's a really cheap option and it's a really easy mod. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We're going to do the 18650 mod on here. This thing has way too many AA batteries. Just say no. This tray does come out of here, although you have to work at it a little bit. And on this one, I find it's easier if you get the back started first. You have to kind of wiggle it and jiggle it, wiggle it just a little bit. It's got a JST connector on it. And it, does, it is polarity labeled for red and black, plus and minus. I got these in off of Amazon. There was six of these for seven bucks ish. I hate crinkly packages, but microphones love them. It looks to me like this particular company chose to rivet these connectors into place rather than solder them into place. So I think the easiest thing to do is going to be I will unsolder these from the solder tabs. A different box might be set up different than this. You might find one that's got solder tabs on it. That would have been my preference. But I'll just go ahead and uh, desolder from this. Splice these together with a little heat shrink and we'll be in business. And uh, just so everybody knows, these are not a direct fit into this radio. Sometimes with this hobby, you need to get a little creative and sometimes you need to get real creative. So what I did is I cut the sides out of this battery box and put a little bit of a bevel on here because it gets narrower toward the bottom of the box. Here's one that's not modified and here's the one that I modified. So you can see the differences on those. Got the uh, connector on here, a little heat shrink on there. So now, and these, man, let me tell you, if you know anything about 18650s, 
these are really good batteries and they don't make batteries all these are made in japan or china i think most i don't know if there's any made in korea but um these are really good these weigh 43 grams and that's how you can kind of tell if you get the little off brand thingies that you see um, they claim 2000 milliamp on these and you've got some that say 10,000 milliamp there's no such thing it doesn't exist so if you don't don't fall for that now what I do I'm going to tell you these come in a four pack and I get these at Walmart. They sell them in the garden center and they sell them for replacements for lawn lights. You know, your little patio enhancements. And they're, I don't remember, they're not a bad price right from the, at, if you just pay full price. But what I do is I'll wait till the end of the season and they put these things on clearance. I got these um, at a really really good price so and it's going to vary from store to store so now you need to do uh, be careful with your polarity this goes um, plus is on would be your right and let's see if this is going to work Tuck the extra wire up in the end. I'm not even going to put any double-sided tape on this because the, the door is going to hold this in, at least in theory. Okay. And these, I didn't charge these all the way up. I just took them out of the package, and they were at about 4 volts apiece, according to my charger. So we'll see what they do in here. And I've got, I don't know, eight or ten or packs of these things. Okay, so there you go. We should be somewhere in the vicinity of 12 volts, if my uh, charger is correct. 12.0. So... There you go, rechargeable batteries in here, and I think I'll be a lot happier with that. The These, you're looking at uh, 9 volts with this handful of batteries, and we've got 12 volts, 2,000 milliamps, and I actually think those batteries are higher than 2,000. I think they're probably 24 to 2,500 milliamps. I'm actually going to run those. I've got a car that runs on 18650s, and I'm going to try a set of those in that car, see what it does. But there you go. Just a little bit of time. And if you, the, like I said, these, these things are not a direct fit. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of sanding that down, you can use a sanding block. You can use... A, um, you can use a bench grinder just a lot of options there you could probably do it with a pocket knife if you're careful the thing is just a little creativity try that and see what you come up with if you don't want to do that just get a, a lipo something with a jst connector and just throw a 2s lipo in there small 3s lipo and you're good to go on to my next project i got two gyro receivers i've got two more of these direct replacement servos for the wl toy stuff these are my box in box servos yeah there you go i just wanted to see if that other one was a fluke so you got a box in a box servo And that's what's in the car with the 2845 brushless conversion. And it's a very nice little servo. It's a direct fit in the WL Toys. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to put this in because I'm not completely sure what I'm going to put it in. But it's going to be another brushless conversion. Probably the little brother to this car, if you want to call it that. The um, A959B. 
I'm going to put one of these servos in it. I'm going to put the gyro receiver in it because it's a handful to control. And I'm going to put a 2845 brushless motor in it with a 35 amp ESC. So I said I wasn't going to tell you, but there you go. That's going to be a project. I don't know if it's going to be next week. And that, that 959B already has a uh, wheel bearing conversion. I took the bushings out, put bearings in it, and I put turnbuckles on it. So... If you're interested in that and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down there. Whether you're a subscriber or not, they get answered to the best of my ability. Appreciate you guys. I really do. And I want you to, uh, I want you to know that. So uh, everybody have a fabulous day and I'll catch you down the road.